Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. I'm just plugging in my microphone. <clears throat> All right. Let's get some cards out here. I hope everybody's having a good day. We're going to do a what comes out. What comes up comes out. Let's see what the energy is for today. And nobody take my pride. King of Swords at the bottom. Ace of Pentacles when I cut the deck. <laughs> All right. Thanks for all the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for your donations. They are all appreciated. Thank you for trusting me with your readings. Thank you for trusting me to coach you. Thank you for trusting my guidance and intuition. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, looking at things from a different perspective. First card out. Um, somebody could also feel trapped. But um, this is all about your third eye chakra. So what are you seeing? Again, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, do you need to meditate? Have you been meditating? Have you been using your intuition? If you get a red flag or something non-negotiable happens, are you trusting your instinct the first time? Are you trusting yourself? Can you trust others? If the answer is no, then you probably need to meditate. Um, somebody may be stuck in some self-limiting beliefs, so they're standing in their own way as a result. So maybe, maybe afraid of the unknown or uncertainty. Um, this could also be saying that somebody lacks direction. Um, but something may need to be released and let go. Someone may need to sacrifice something or make some type of compromise. Somebody could be waiting on something, like patiently waiting. But, of course, the first thing that comes to mind is thinking of looking at things from a different perspective, which is a good thing because I feel like you're using your third eye and elevating to your higher self because the next chakra up is the crown chakra. And that means you fully know and understand um, and you completely embrace your higher self or your north node, um, higher level of consciousness. Um, however you want to say that you've achieved enlightenment cosmic consciousness yeah. <clears throat> somebody's in regret somebody probably didn't make a good choice so it made this person feel sad or lost but always remember although you spilled three cups there's still two all you have to do is pick your head up and turn around and look to the glory and abundance and prosperity that is in front of you. Look how calm and still the waters are. Um, you don't have to be in despair. You may feel rejected or abandoned. You may feel guilty about something or remorseful. Maybe you experienced some type of trauma, right? Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, um, you could be a Scorpio. 
Um, you could be grieving or mourning someone's transition. Um, you could have recently had or experienced a heartbreak. Um, but also, this is a bridge over troubled waters. You All you have to do, again, is lift your head up, pick up your two cups that didn't spill, and cross over the bridge to your abundance and prosperity. If you have enough yes or no question, the answer is no. Both the hangman and the five of cups uh, mean no. And you may be focusing on the loss, but our thoughts become things. So the longer you focus on it, the longer, it, the more it will become true in your life. Somebody feels like they're emotionally unstable and unwilling to change as well. But again, if you pick your, fit, your head up <laughs> and cross over the bridge, you will have abundance and prosperity. You have nine cups on your own. Right? And the hangman is saying to accept surrender. Again, let go. See it from a different perspective. Be willing to change and make sacrifices. It's really all up to you. Hold on again, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so with this, um, with this hangman again, this is Pisces energy. So you could be a Pisces or someone around you could be a Pisces. Um, someone coming towards you could be a Pisces. Maybe this person's helping you look at things from a different perspective, or you're looking at things from a different perspective on your own. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Pisces. It could be someone who has Pisces in their chart. But we all embody the 12 zodiac signs and the seven chakras. So we can um, carry on the traits or personalities of any sign at any time, really. Um... Because really it's just energy and you know a lot of the energies are similar so although somebody might be say a Libra uh, it's still possible that they're looking at things from a different perspective even if they don't have Pisces in their chart at all if that makes sense um, then again I told you the five of cups could be um, Scorpio right and then we have this nine of cups out here and you know cups are all about emotions cups usually represent your cancer scorpio and and or your pisces um but this could also be a gemini i'm sorry this could also be a, another pisces i didn't mean to say gemini i don't know why i have gemini on the brain <laughs> yeah this could be a pisces um and this symbol here is Jupiter. Right? This is somebody's dreams coming true. Joy, you know, satisfaction, optimism, abundance, prosperity, success. Rewards, confidence, achievements, positivity. <laughs> then you have this Ten of Swords out here in reverse. I always think of the Everything is Fine card and with this being in reverse, this is someone who's definitely um, recovering from being feeling like they've been stabbed in the back multiple times. Recovering from the hardships of their past. Heartache. 
escaping total destruction. This is someone who's basically healed their root chakra. Right? I am. Who are you? When you say I am, what do you say after I am? Because whatever I am, whatever you say after I am, you are. And whatever you tell yourself is true, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Because you're speaking it into existence by saying I am. Even if you don't believe in law of attraction, um, it still applies. It's still a law of the universe. Even if people, even the people who don't believe in it, it still applies. You're not exempt from it because you say you don't believe in it. And we have the lovers out here in reverse, which is Gemini energy. <laughs> um. Yeah, I feel like you were dealing with a person or people that you couldn't trust. And this may have had made you have trust issues, even not being able to trust yourself. But again, I feel like you're re recovering from, from that. Um, but it still could be some type of imbalance there or, you know, somebody in your life could still be causing a conflict. It could be a romantic partner who's trying to cause conflict. Um... And this person doesn't want to be accountable and responsible for their actions. Like, especially with Gemini energy being out here, I like to think of it as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Because if you know a Gemini, sometimes they go from one extreme to the other. And you don't even know why. Um, I know um, a guy who dated a Gemini. And one week, she was a devout Muslim with her head covered, body covered up. And two weeks later, she was dancing in a, in a, in a, you know, in a strip club. No exaggeration. Then you have the two of pentacles out here in reverse. More, more lack of balance, more imbalanced energy. You know, the root chakra is grounded energy. Again, someone who's healing and understanding who they are but you may still be around people who don't understand who they are if this is not your energy this is the energy of someone around you or vice versa this one is is someone who's not organized who does not use their intuition who does not meditate who does not trust themselves or others. They don't know nothing about using intuition. And you know, the Nine of Cups, um, this is the sacral chakra. And this is all about how you feel. And that's why there's joy and satisfaction in this card. And it's represented by the color yellow. See all the yellow in the card? In the, the cups are yellow. There's nine cups full of abundance and prosperity. Okay, let's start clarifying. Can we clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse? sideways knight of cups um this is your um heart chakra you know i love do you love yourself do you love others are you accepting of others do you have compassion right these things are important This could be some type of a romantic proposal. A knight could be offering someone a cup, or you could be offering someone a cup. This is offers, invitations, taking action, following your heart. But, you know, using your intuition again, because that horse didn't put that foot down in that water yet. He's like, wait a minute, Tonto. <laughs> what we doing? Now, follow your heart, but again, proceed with caution, like the horse is. This, could, this is someone who could be chivalrous, 
again if this is not you this is the energy of someone around you because this energy this reading could be for a male or a female this is someone who's who could be a gentleman this is someone who could be, be um, feel like they're being swept off their feet or about to be. Someone who's charming, attractive. Someone who is dating. Someone who has affection and warmth and gentle. Hold on, I need to say something to my neighbor. Yes, yeah, someone who um, is warm and gentle. This is someone who shows affection. Because the Knight of Cups is all about love and emotions. Again, this is um, cups. Cups are emotional. It is emotional energy, even if it's not a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is all about the heart chakra and creativity as well. Creative expression. Creative expression comes from the heart as well. This is hope. Again, compassion. Uh, let's clarify the lovers in reverse. Why is the lovers in reverse out here? Page of Wands. This is more root chakra energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, this is Saturn energy. If you have enough yes or no questions, this is a yes. This is fiery enthusiasm. You see how the card looks like fire? This is good news, and it's coming in fast. It could be in the form of a letter, a phone call, uh, a person coming to you to tell you, someone who's cheerful, uh, has a playful energy, someone who's very active, optimistic, has a lot of energy. You know, some people have a lot of energy. <laughs> But this person also may have good ideas, uh, exciting something, you know, you may have something planned that you want to do and they come in and help you solidify those plans. Again, if this is not your energy, this is the energy of someone around you or someone who could be coming towards you. This is also more creativity. Um, this could also be a new career or like I said an idea whether it's a business idea, creative project um, and this could also be someone who's becoming a student or is a student okay why is the two of pentacles out here why is there a lack of balance out here And this two of pentacles could be Capricorn energy. And the planet Jupiter again. Why are these ships not sailing in? <laughs> More root chakra energy. If if you if this is your energy. You either need to heal your inner child or you're working on healing your inner child. Um, or your inner child has been healed. Um, but the Page of Swords is delayed news. So Page of Wands is news coming in quickly. Um, and that news, since it fell on top of the lovers, it could be about a romantic partner. Um, but again, it could be about business as well. Um, you know, because the lovers is all about true love, but in reverse, there's no love there, right? It could also be about a business partnership, but it could have been a failed business partnership. 
right? And again, it's Gemini energy, so it really could go either way. <laughs> Um, the lovers is also about communication so again this could be this is some type of fast communication that's coming in and it's good news right this could be you meeting the perfect partner after not having the perfect partner um, this is could be someone who's able to express themselves um, someone who's a flirt. Then with this page of swords, um, this could be somebody who gossips, who's watching you, right? Um, but it, it could also be somebody who's telling the truth, but it may be a truth that you don't want to hear. This is also someone who could be fair, inspirational, um, and it could also be telling you that you need to be patient. This also represents ideas, inspiration, but it could also be someone who's guarded. <laughs> so kind of just like the the wand, the yeah, the wand, it could go either way. Um, This, this is more Sagittarius energy, and this is more Gemini energy. Don't let somebody pull you into an argument with drama and gossip and lies. Think about what you want to say before you say it. And be strong mentally. Don't let somebody pull you into their mess. Yeah, just, just don't do it. <laughs> Again, this is someone who may need to heal their heart chakra, is working on healing their heart chakra, or has already healed their heart chakra. So the advice that you need could be any of the things that I said. Because it could go either way. All right, what else do we need to know? Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Yeah, this could be some type of relationship problem. Somebody who's experiencing in empty nest syndrome, a divorce or broken marriage. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, separation. Dysfunctional family, like maybe you have toxic or na narcissistic family members. A broken home or maybe you were raised in one or somebody around you was raised in one and maybe again that's why they have this gossipy prying energy okay and again this is more root chakra someone who needs to heal their inner child for sure because they don't know who they are why is the ten of cups out here in reverse celebration teamwork more third eye chakra energy someone who meditates who uses their intuition who trusts or is trusting or trustworthy again if this is not your energy this is the energy of someone around you so don't try to corrupt this person with your messiness because they're going to see through it <laughs> You can't be manipulative to everybody. And if this is your, you know, if you're in this page of swords, messy, lying, gossiping energy. But if you're not, then you'll maybe meeting someone who knows how to work as a team. This could also be somebody who's doing some type of apprentice work, working underneath somebody, learning something new. Studying, growing, again, perhaps healing their inner child. They could even be learning it from somebody who's on a platform, like, you know, um, Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or something. Um, 
maybe somebody who's attending seminars, whether they be face-to-face -face or online, someone who works hard and is committed, someone who's working on building their success, even collaborating with other people to build, build a solid foundation. It could be somebody who's getting married <laughs> or again, just working as a team with other people. Um, someone who's determined to achieve their goals, dedicated. They produce quality work. And they pay attention to detail. And if you have a yes or no question, this is a, uh, a yes. Um, this could also be a Capricorn. And it could also represent the planet Mars. What else do we need to know? What's the, oh, something turned over in here. Oh. Um, this could be somebody's dreams. Maybe somebody's having bad dreams. Um, living in a fantasy. Um, choosing the wrong cups. This is the seven of cups in reverse, by the way. This is someone who may be um, practicing sobriety, getting clean, going to NA meetings or AA meetings. Um, this is more solar plexus energy. So what is this person doing? Um, this could be a Scorpio. Does it have to be? This could be somebody who just has Scorpio in their chart. And um, this is the ruled by the planet Venus, which is the, the how a person loves energy. So this is saying this person maybe doesn't love like a Scorpio or is not in their full so, uh, Scorpio energy, maybe because they need to sober up. They make poor choices. Um, this could also be somebody who's getting clarity the illusions are over. They're not picking the wrong cups. They may be restoring their true sense of self. Again, it could be Scorpio energy or some other energy. This could also be somebody who does not have choices. Or who doesn't have, you know, different opportunities or options to do something different. Or have something different. Or maybe they just feel that way. Um, this could be somebody who dis feels disappointed or has false expectations or hopes, but they're now dealing with their issues. Okay, why is the Seven of Cups out here? We have the seven of cups out here. <laughs> Might as well let all of them come out. Page of Pentacles. Root chakra again. Um, somebody who's making some type of investment. Good news. Um, this is Virgo energy. Earthly matters, homes, jobs, business, stability, finances, things of that nature. Solid foundation, solid beginning. 
creating strategies. Uh, laying down a solid foundation. This could also be consistency and good a good good opportunities basically. Um then we have the Five of Swords out here in the reverse. Could be Aqu Aquarius energy, also Venus. Um, somebody who's coming to a peaceful re resolution. Um, this is throat chakra energy. So this could be somebody who's, you, you, you know, using their voice or using their throat chakra. Who's good at communication. Um. Who's an inspiration? Again, it could be somebody who's on a platform. Um, someone who knows how to compromise, communicate, and resolve conflict. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's afraid to move on, though. So maybe whoever this person is that's healing, if it's not your energy, it's the energy of someone around you. Someone's healing and maybe they're afraid fear afraid of the unknown. Um, maybe this person needs, you know. I'm sorry, this is the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I, I did the Seven of Cups already. This is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, this could also mean somebody's going back home. See this person with his back turned, like going the opposite direction of the cups. This could be somebody who has learned from the past and is no longer stagnant. And this just could be somebody who's accepting what is. Like this five of um, cups. Um, you know, just accepting the loss and moving on. Nine of wands. This is someone who sets boundaries and they're maintaining their boundaries. So let's say you did have to deal with some narcissistic people or some toxic people. You may have decided to distance yourself or go no, no contact. And you may have your guard up a little bit to make sure that you don't fall back into that same toxic pattern. And this could be a Sagittarius again. This is also moon energy. This is also the sacral chakra. How do you feel? Do you feel like you need to have your guard up? Do you feel tired? Do you feel like you've been in a fight? Do you feel drained emotionally? Or do you feel like your energy is drained? Do you feel like you've been battling but you're almost there? You're almost to the end? You almost re achieved your success. You feel like you have courage. And you've been persistent and tenacious. You've persevered. You have a backbone. You were, you're able to stand up from yourself, for yourself. Have you learned from past mistakes or failures? Have you regained your strength? What is the final message? Knight of Swords. Again, more heart chakra energy, Aquarius energy. Um, this could also be Mars. I think Mars is how you work, if I'm not mistaken. This is big changes, opportunities, seizing the moment. Jumping in and going forward. For it. <laughs> this could also be somebody who's traveling. And this is going to happen fast. If you have a yes or no question, the answer is no. But this is mental energy. You know, Swords is mental energy. Someone who's in their mind. Could be Aries, Libra, or... Um, what's those other people? <laughs> Gemini. 
but doesn't have to be. It, it is more so Aquarius energy. Someone who's assertive, direct, honest, quick-witted. Someone who likes to talk but can be impatient and impulsive. Um, definitely an intellectual, someone who takes chances and can be rebellious. And remember, knights are usually immature, 25 to 35 years old or in that age range. Um, although some people like to think that they're, that age range is mature, there are those who disagree. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Not to say that they're not smart and they don't have some level of maturity, but they're not completely mature because they still have a lot to learn usually at that age. Yeah, tower. Somebody may be experiencing a tower. Um, it could be a good tower. I always feel like change is good, but, you know, the perception of the person going through the tower may not think so. But I think this is the final step to reach that higher level of consciousness because this represents the crown chakra. To have that full understanding. You know, you sometimes have to go through a lot before you get to that, that higher level of consciousness. Ace of Swords is confirmation. Right? Moving to calmer waters. Again, this is crown chakra too. New ideas intellectual abilities, victory, success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthroughs, being able to concentrate or meditate, right? Clear, open, and honest communication, knowing the truth, having a clear vision, having clear focus, healing, progress. This is heart chakra, Aquarius, both of these are Aquarius. Well, this is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and this is Aquarius. Okay. The calm after the storm. Someone who's calming down, moving forward. Overcoming hardships, relief, stability. Escaping, you know, something that did not serve a good purpose in your life or those you were here to help. So it could be somebody who's running away from something or just taking a journey or traveling. So let's see. Let's get some oracle messages. won the battle. And what did you win? Peace. Um, this was a fork in the road or is a fork in the road. And maybe you are struggling to figure out which direction to take, but I think you know the answer if you use your intuition and meditate. <clears throat> Time for a nap is 24, which is a six. Six is the peace lover. And it's the color purple or indigo. Peace is 23, which reduces down to a five in geometry or numerology. Um, this is the freedom lover. And this is represented by the color blue. 
then you have fork in the road is a 13 which is reduces down to a four 14 reduces to a four and this is the color green and this is someone who has work to do and someone who needs to build structure and order and you know really think about what's going on and what direction to go in but it's also your heart chakra so do so with love and compassion and you'll get your milk and honey which is 51 which is a number six which is the peace lover someone who's family oriented relationship oriented understanding responsible tranquil and ready willing and able to serve because that's what we're here for to serve and this is the pineal gland or the third eye or the ajna chakra in sanskrit someone who meditates is intuitive and trusting which came out several times during this reading <laughs> so I am going to end this here and I hope that this helped you and as always I love y'all